Are you peeing too much? One of the more common complaints that we get as people start to explore what proper hydration looks like in endurance sports, that they have to stop to pee more often than they like. And a lot of times it's because they've taken the hydration game too far to one side or they're missing a key ingredient to the hydration puzzle. If you're a runner and you're finding yourself needing to stop on the side of the road or the side of the trail and relieve yourself, or maybe you're a cyclist and you have to drop off the back of a pace line because you need to find the nearest restroom, or maybe you're a triathlete and you're in the middle of an Ironman bike leg and you pee five times instead of the optimal two, this video might be helpful. Why does excess urination happen? One, you either drank too much, or two, your body isn't deciding to hold on to what you consumed for some reason. So let's go through number one first, and number one actually has two parts. So we have before the workout, and we have uh, during the workout. So if you're, if you're finding yourself peeing a lot, during training or during racing, uh, there's there's two reasons or two places that you might have consumed too much fluid. One is before and one is during. The second reason, your body deciding not to hold on to what you've consumed, is usually driven by not consuming enough sodium. Sometimes you will end up excreting more than your body actually should for optimal hydration, is that your beverages contain too much potassium, causing you to flush out some of the fluid in an effort to basically wash out the excess potassium in your blood. Common drink examples include Prime Nutrition. This beverage, supposedly for sport hydration, yeah, it says hydration drink, contains 700 milligrams of potassium and a whopping 10 milligrams of sodium. This is actually a sport dehydration drink. It will make you thirsty, and so you will drink more of it, and you will buy more of it. Or your kids will ask you to buy more of it because they love the taste of it because they're so thirsty. Other common offenders of the high potassium flush out all of your water problem are coconut water, uh, sweetened soda waters often are uh, sweetened with potassium acesulfame. Yeah, and sort of like edge, really organic feeling branded uh, hydration drinks often have more potassium than they have sodium, which actually makes them not good for hydration at all. But yeah, the two reasons you don't hold the water that you've consumed and that you end up peeing more often than you should, even for your given hydration status, are you've consumed not enough sodium and you've consumed too much potassium. A third reason that you might be thinking is uh, coffee or caffeine, sometimes uh, people perceive that it makes them urinate more than they otherwise would if they didn't have that. That is actually mostly a myth. Number one, it's debated uh, if at all, if caffeine is, is a diuretic at all. And the second piece about caffeine is that even if we agree that it is a mild diuretic, it is a non-linear dose response, meaning whether you have 50 milligrams of caffeine, 150 or 600 milligrams of caffeine, the diuretic response is the same small diuretic response. So don't worry about having a triple shot espresso on race day, it's not going to dehydrate you. That's not why you're peeing a lot. Now, if you're having sodium free liquid in mass, like maybe let's say you're having 24 ounces of coffee, that's 24 ounces of sodium free liquid, that will definitely make you pee because you just don't have enough sodium in your liquid to cause your body to retain it in your bloodstream where you want it. Okay, so the two causes of peeing too much during training and during racing are one, you're drinking too much, or two, your body's not hanging on to what you drink. So how do we fix it? Fix reason number two before you try pulling back on your drinking, probably need to consume more sodium. Increase your sodium, if you're not already up to, say, 1,500 milligrams per liter sodium, you should increase your sodium up to 15, 1,800 milligrams per liter of sodium before you start thinking about pulling back your fluid consumption. So a couple quick options for how to get more sodium. Uh, number one, pre-training. Number two, intra-training. We recommend, um, honestly, salting your food, consuming a sodium-rich beverage before you train, before you race. That solves the pre-training box, and then in the intra-training box, definitely put the sodium in your beverage. It's just so much easier to get sodium in beverage form in, during training. We don't recommend trying to get it from gels or chews, taking salt pills, or I mean, even there's sodium fast chews, but you have to be chewing down many, 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 many chews to get to appropriate sodium levels to hold the water, uh, especially if you're in the scenario of already diuresing urinating a lot. Let's talk how to actually put the sodium uh, in your intra workout beverage. There's basically two options that you should consider using, table salt and sodium citrate. Those are the only two sodium components uh, or sodium containing components of most endurance sport beverages and that's because uh, every other sodium option out there basically comes with so many trade-offs that companies wouldn't put it in there in their beverage. Um, the most popular one, third option, would be like sodium alginate which supposedly makes a hydrogel which supposedly, it's not true, makes it uh, absorb faster, really super not true. 
Um, sodium bicarbonate can also have um, the propensity to cause gut issues, so I would avoid sodium bicarb, avoid sodium alginate, use either table salt or sodium citrate, and if you want the easy on the gut option to help your body retain the water instead of peeing it out, use sodium citrate. So just to reiterate there, we don't want more potassium, we don't need more different electrolytes, we don't need magnesium, we don't need calcium added to our sports beverages to help us retain the water and get hydrated. Hydration is not some like mythical, um, spiritual aspect of our bodies, it's actually how much water is in our bloodstream. And if you want to retain water in your bloodstream for sport performance, it is sodium that causes that. Not potassium, not magnesium, not calcium, not any other electrolytes, not electrolytes at the top of a package that's a, that makes you feel like it must be hydrating. No, it is just the sodium content of the beverage. That's what matters. Let's talk about what, what do you do if you're already consuming 1500 milligrams of sodium per liter in your beverages? It's time to probably scale the amount of fluid you're consuming back a little bit. Um, but do be really sure to check your pre-training fluid consumption and take into account all the fluid you consume before training. So if you're having like juice with breakfast, coffee, tea, any water, any sports drink, consider all of the fluid. It might be something like 48 ounces before you go race. Easily more than a liter a lot of times before a morning training session. You need to figure out from all of your sources of sodium in the morning, the salt you put on your eggs, any salt in other foods that you might have, cereal, oatmeal, etc. What's the total sodium content? per total fluid content. And if you're not at 1500 milligrams per liter, increase it to 1500 milligrams per liter before you consider pulling back the fluid. The last thing we want for you is to end up actually dehydrated because you still are short on sodium and you just pull your fluid back. But if you're in the scenario where you're at 1500 milligrams per liter of sodium, you should consider pulling your fluid consumption back 10, 20, maybe even 30% until you're peeing during training, maybe once every two, two and a half hours, instead of once every hour or once every 45 minutes, which is super annoying uh, and totally interruptive to training, and we don't want that. And if you happen to be using our app uh, and you find that it's recommending enough fluid that you end up peeing, say, once an hour, once every hour and a half, and you'd like to like pull that back a little bit, all you have to do is slide the sweat slider down a notch or two, and this is assuming that you already have in your settings your sweat saltiness setting all the way up to saltiest, very salty. Um, set that to very salty first and then try that out. And then in your activities, it might be as simple as just sliding the sweat slider down one or two notches. It'll calibrate your fluid amounts and your sodium amounts relative to those fluid amounts. That's how to fix peeing too much in training. Dial up that sodium, pull back the water, and you should be good to go. Until next time.